Folks, right here is the Lenovo ThinkPad L13 Yoga Gen 2. This is a 13-inch Intel-based machine. It is a yoga, meaning it goes the display goes all the way around. It's a ThinkPad, meaning it is meeting military specifications. It's Lenovo, meaning there are tons of discounts and sales, plenty of configurations. It's intended for the business audience. That's part of the ThinkPad lineup. And it has an entry level that is surprising. So what we'll do in today's video is give you a tour of this device. I'll walk you through it, point out some things that are of interest to me that hopefully are of interest to you as well. And then I'll be shipping it right back to Lenovo. Thank you to them for giving me a chance to do this tour on this device. So uh, man, so many things to say about this. Let's start with configuration. So this particular model that I have is the i5 1135G7 CPU from Intel 11th gen with four cores, eight threads, eight megabytes of cache and uh, tops out at 4.2 gigahertz, right? Standard run rate, 2.4 gigahertz. 13.3 inch display, Windows 10 Pro. It's a 1080p I should mention with 300 nits. It is an IPS display, anti-reflective, anti-smudge, it's also touchscreen, it has to be since this is a yoga. This model has eight gigs of RAM. You can configure the whole device up to 16 and the rated battery life is about eight and a half, eight and a quarter hours. So this machine is interesting because it's not gonna be the sexy consumer laptop, right? This is a business laptop. And I do think business laptops can be sexy, but when it comes to Lenovo and trying to meet those military specifications for durability, drop testing, all those types of things, uh, that's just not in the cards. So what we have here is 3.17 pounds with an aluminum top, right? Hear that? That's an aluminum top right there. Before diving too far into the tour, I wanna to point out what some of the security features are. That's a big point of this machine. We have optional uh, match on chip fingerprint reader, facial recognition with Windows Hello. That's if you get the model that has the IR camera. I don't know if this does, we'll fire it up in a moment and find out. Uh, smart card reader, there's a webcam privacy cover, uh, also called a Think Shutter by Lenovo, and a Kensington lock. And then when it comes to the, just the durability testing, uh, I'm not going to be doing that. There might be some videos online of people doing that with Lenovo ThinkPads that are mil spec tested, but I, I'm not doing that. Uh, and oh, yeah, dimension. So um, the height on this thing, 0.69 inches. Uh, so you can kind of see the thickness there along the USB port. And while we're here, to show you the rest of the ports, you got HDMI, there's your Kensington. And the width is 12.3 inches. Here's the other side for IO. Okay, so you get uh, your USB-C for power. Um, it's also Thunderbolt. You have this uh, Ethernet and multi-use port here and your headphone jack, another USB. Okay, um, so as I mentioned, the width uh, is 12.3 inches and the length is 8.3, or you know, the depth rather, uh, 8.6. Okay, so let's, let's kind of crack this sucker open and see what we have going on inside. Okay, boom. So first we're met with the really high quality Lenovo keyboard. And the keys do appear a little bit small to me, uh, which is odd, but that could just be, you know, me being used to some other machines lately. There's a tiny trackpad here, and I mean teeny, teeny, tiny. I mean, look at the, the width, this is really small, but it's the traditional ThinkPad design. Um, and it has the traditional ThinkPad dedicated keys for primary, secondary, and middle mouse key, or one, two, and three. There's your webcam. Um, this might be some kind of sensor, actually. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out what that is. That's interesting. Uh, otherwise, you have a standard keyboard, multimedia keys around the, along the top. It does look like it's backlit. There's a backlit indicator here. So holding down function, pressing the space bar is going to give you the backlighting. It's probably three stages. We'll find out. Let me go ahead and call out a couple more things. There's that fingerprint reader. And as I mentioned at the beginning, you can completely rotate the display. So first, here's how it looks when it's flat. You have your L13 Yoga marking. Again, here's that sensor. I'm not sure what it is. We'll find out. It might be a, a secondary webcam, depending on the mode that you're in. Uh, and then here's the primary webcam. And this one has that Think Shutter. So it's a manual slider. You can push it like that. It turns red, open it, and it's no longer red. Now you can rotate it all the way around. Sorry for the noise. 
now you have a tablet type mode. Now some of these ThinkPad and non-ThinkPad yogas come with integrated pens and I am not seeing one on this. Ah, I stand corrected. There is your pen. So when this, this actually happens last gen as well. So when you have the laptop in tablet mode, it's a little bit hard to get your finger in there and pull out the pen. So let's see if they, yep, there they go. Okay, so here's what Lenovo did this time. Okay, look really closely at the pen tip. See if I can pull this up on the camera. Right there in front of this, in front of my fingertip, right below the red line. There you go. See that? That's a little slot that lines up with the edge of the chassis, and you can put your finger nail in there and pull it out. There's capacitive charging, get your Lenovo branding, a couple of dedicated buttons. So depending on the app, there's a lot of different functionality. There's your pen tip. Looks like it comes with a modest pen tip. So we'll have to play around with that. And then all kinds of stuff on the side there. Okay, I'm going to show it back in for now. Let's fire this thing up. The hinge is really tight, um, I gotta tell you. It's surprisingly tight. So you are not gonna one hand open this thing. See what happens, which is fine. It's a business machine. All right, power button's on the side. Let's fire this sucker up. See what we get. All right, we do have a backlit keyboard. Hopefully that comes through. It's totally not coming through. Oh, hey, that's coming through. Backlit, there you go. Change of view here so you can get a better sense of what we're looking at. This is definitely a, a really nice display. You can tell that it's IPS, or at least I could tell. Uh, the viewing angles are pretty good. Um, it's not as reflective as older displays, which is good. Color reproduction looks pretty solid, but I know it's really hard to tell from the camera, and I'm just using an iPhone, so that's not particularly helpful. But the first thing I always do is I changed that zoom, my goodness. Oh, so much better now. You can see way more. Okay. So out of the box, battery is at 85% with three hours remaining. That's not a really good indicator of reality. Opening up edge was pretty fast. Well, that's interesting. Let's check some things out. All right, so this particular model, yes, it is the 8 gig 1135G7. Totally interested in what this is. So let's fire up the camera app and see if we can switch cameras. Yep, oh, there's me. Hello, me. That's embarrassing. All right, if I hit that button, yes, it is another camera. So you might be wondering, what is the point of having another camera? You know, to me, the point is, if you're in tent mode and you just want to kick it over and see what's going on here, you can. If you're in full-on tablet mode, same thing. You can, of course, I closed the camera just when I needed it. The one time I needed the Windows camera app. I can hit this and now share what's in front of me, just like you would on a phone. All right, so let's close that out. That's enough of looking at myself. The next thing we should take a look at is what the pen input is like. You know, this is Windows at the end of the day, so it's not exactly the most touch-friendly UI in the world. More touch-friendly than Mac OS, am I right? All right, let's get that pen opened up. So use cases for pens in a business, business environment really vary. Um, there seems to be a giant gap just in my own experience of when someone needs to use a pen. You know, you've got architects, engineers, designers, they need pens or specialized devices that you can plug into Windows, you can plug into Mac OS, you know, third-party devices that are really specific for drawing, and they're much better than what you're going to find here. I know I haven't even tested it yet, but I've done this so many times. It's going to be better. Um, here we go. So I'm actually, you know, I use an iPad Air. Uh, I came off of a Galaxy S7 Plus which had a really good writing interface. I'd say the iPad is not too far behind. And coming off of that, and now coming to this 60 hertz Windows display, who knows what the polling rate is, it, this actually feels pretty good. But going back to those use cases, like why would anybody want to do handwriting in Windows if they're not using a specialty device, you know, like one of those third-party devices I mentioned, 
it might be for note taking uh, if you wanted. So personally, I know I'm broken record here. I like to take handwritten notes in business meetings. I feel like it's more professional, even through a Zoom conference or a web conference now. I still think if someone sees me writing versus typing, there's a higher likelihood that they respect the action and the fact that I'm not looking at them. You know, So anyhow, and I am truly taking notes when I do that. So that might be the case here. Um, I'm really surprised actually at the pen thickness. So let's choose a different pen, the pixel pen. What the hell is that? All right, let's find out. Oh my goodness, that is awful. All right, let's do a watercolor. This is really responsive, which is what I was trying to say with that last rant. Pencil, okay, let's try that. Okay, so that's not bad. I gotta be honest, that is not bad. Let me fire up a new one here. And let's take some handwritten notes, like real notes versus this playing around that I've been doing. Marker, come on, there's gotta be a better one than this. A crayon, goodness. I guess I'm going marker. All right. So I might orient it this way. Let's see if it responds. Oh, that's terrible. There's that Windows interface. And you probably think what I'm thinking right now, right? Like bezels. But, you know, part of the military specification, I imagine, requires that Lenovo have this thickness, right? So they can make room for all the drop protection and, you know, water protection, that type of thing. Um, I like to shoot videos, even though I'm not great at it. All right, if you want to take a minute to leave a comment telling me that I'm actually not that bad, I'd appreciate it. Um, okay, that's a joke. So the next thing I want to test is the keyboard. Now, it's kind of weird to test keyboards on a Lenovo because they're always great, so it's like, what are we really testing for? It's not like it's a Mac. Uh, but Oh, come on. Just let me in, will you? I will accept your terms. All right. Terms accepted. Okay. I'm glad it got better. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Here we go. So this is an amazing keyboard. It's so easy to just jump on it. So I've been mostly using an M1 Mac. I've been using a, a Logitech keyboard on the side, some kind of like MX keys or something like that. So I haven't touched a ThinkPad keyboard in quite a while. I can just jump on here and start flying. All right, one typo. There it is. I do know how to spell rocks. So yeah, it. it so this machine, uh, we should talk pricing. I'll just try to do a gesture. Come on, gesture, work. So the, the pricing on this does vary. Um, you know, I've got it open on my iPad here. So I mentioned that there's sort of a weird entry-level model. You're not going to believe this. So the entry-level model has a 4 gigabyte RAM configuration. Like that is just bizarre. So here's what we're looking at. Starting with an i3 with 4 gigs of RAM. You know, forget it. You're not buying that. Please don't buy that. Okay. It's Windows. That's why. Okay, so the web price on this is $1,900, but Lenovo runs sales like crazy. This sale is for no reason. Like, there's no, it's not Christmas. It's not Thanksgiving. It's not Black Friday. Lenovo has a massive sale. So $1,200, and you can get into this device with an i5, 8 gigs of RAM, half terabyte SSD. That's this one that I have here. It has the integrated pen. has a fingerprint reader. This one does too. I forgot to call that out. It's right down here. Uh, so anyhow, like, that's... Um, it's not the best price in the world for the specs, but when you consider that this is not a bad handwriting experience so far, um, and it's highly durable, then, you know, if you need military spec, there you go. Now, for the upper end model with an i7, it starts at $2,700. These are big numbers, but these are business machines, so who am I kidding? That's a lot of money, regardless. You know, most professionals can get away with um, other devices, right? They can get away with just an iPad. They can get away with even a beast like this one. This is the Lenovo Legion, uh, man, I forgot the 7? Seven? 7i with a 2080 Max-Q. It's awesome. Um, but anyway, anyway, you could get away with just about any machine these days. It just depends on that specialty use case that you have. And so if you're somebody who absolutely requires a machine that meets military specifications, then you're gonna pay those prices because you're not gonna find them anywhere else. And there aren't many computers that have two cameras that are both low quality, but still. Um, anyhow, so yeah, thoughts on this, I guess, are good first impressions. It does what it's supposed to do. It's a mil-spec 
durable, not too heavy, but pretty thick machine. And Lenovo generally has really good customer service, really good quality. And um, it's hard to say I like it because it's not for me, but if it, you're someone who needs these things, I don't think you'd be disappointed if IT gave you this. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, this will be my last video on this machine, and I'm gonna try really hard to get a video out next on the new Duet 7i for Lenovo. All right, thanks a lot, bye-bye.